morning YouTube and welcome back to My Lilac Hill. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and in today's video I am going to be attempting to make homemade Greek yogurt for the first time ever. I am not an expert at this. I have watched a couple of YouTube videos and I have decided to follow uh, the Living Traditions Homestead video that I watched. Their information will be linked in the description box below if you want to watch the original video and tutorial that they did but I'm just going to be showing you what I'm doing and how it turns out. Now we do have a dairy cow. However, she calved a couple of months before we got married and we just left the calf on her because we did not have the time or energy to work with her and milk her. So we don't have fresh milk or raw milk. I used store-bought milk for this today, but we are looking at getting another dairy cow. And so Hopefully this cow that we're looking at will be calving um, close to the end of February, first part of March. And so that would allow us to have raw milk close to year round. And so next time I make this, I'm hoping that we will have raw milk from our dairy cows. But for the time being, store-bought milk is just what I have available. And the reason that I'm wanting to do this is because our family goes through Greek yogurt like it is going out of style. Our four-year-old is fairly picky. He's gotten a lot better at eating in the last month, but he's pretty picky. And one of the things that has protein in it that I can actually get him to eat is Greek yogurt. And so we buy a lot of it. I also am a terrible breakfast eater, but I try to get a, at least some form of a protein in when I wake up within about an hour of waking up. And yogurt is the way that I am actually able to do that. And so we go through, this is the, this is the yogurt that we buy. And we go through about three of these a week. And these are 32 ounce containers that cost. Okay, give me a minute. I'll make you some. So these are 32 ounce containers. And at our grocery store, they're $5.98. And I was able to pick up this gallon of whole milk for $3.78. And then the culture that I'm gonna be using today is Chobani Plain Greek yogurt because you wanna use the brand of yogurt that you like and we like Chobani. So I picked up one of these and it was a dollar and like seven cents. So for the cost of one of those 32 ounce containers, I'm gonna be making a gallon of yogurt. So there's a huge cost savings. And so hopefully we end up liking it and that will help us with our budgeting and help us save money at the grocery store. We try not to go to the grocery store any more than necessary. And we're hoping that this is one way that we will be able to kind of aid our efforts in that respect. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my gallon of milk into my Instant Pot so that we can start the process of scalding the milk. And my Instant Pot does have the yogurt feature, so I'm going to use that. Um, but basically what it's doing is it's bringing the milk up to 180 degrees. So once all my milk is in there, I'll put the lid on. And I will hit the yogurt button until it says boil. And then when that beeps, it'll be done and I'll show you what we do next. So while the Instant Pot is working on scalding that milk, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my plans with this. Now, obviously we're using a plain Greek yogurt culture. So we're making plain Greek yogurt and we're making a lot of it. Now, plain Greek yogurt can also be used as a sour cream substitution. And so that's why I'm doing plain in a large batch because I can use it as sour cream. And then I also want to try and make a few different flavors. And one of the flavors I want to do is I want to try and get as close to this vanilla flavor as I possibly can using fewer ingredients than what the store-bought brands do. So I'm going to use some vanilla extract and instead of sugar, I'm going to use raw local honey. I try to limit our sugar intake and at least make it as many natural sugars as we possibly can because sugar is absolutely terrible for you and I, I love sugar. I love the sweets. I love all that kind of stuff, but it's so bad for us and I'm trying to trying to do what I can to still enjoy life and still enjoy the flavors um, that are available to us, but doing it in a little bit more natural way. 
So I'm going to attempt. I have just a little bit left in here. My son wanted a snack this morning, so I limited him because there's not a whole lot left in here. But I want to do a taste comparison and see how close I'm able to get to it. And then another flavor that I want to do is a maple flavor. Now, my husband does tap the maple trees on our property and on some of the other farms that we own and also that we rent. And um, we rent some other farms so that our cattle can rotationally graze. And so we've tapped several trees and my husband makes maple syrup out of that sap. And so I wanna make a maple yogurt and just see if I like it. And then when we get a little bit closer into spring, there's a you pick strawberry farm down the road from us and I want to go pick some strawberries and make strawberry yogurt so I'm hoping that this turns out really well like I said you're watching me do it for the very first time so if I mess up you're gonna see it um, but hopefully it'll turn out really well and we can try some of these flavors together okay it is done scalding and so I'm gonna float it in some cool water here in the sink and I'm just gonna take this little layer of skin off the top so that we don't incorporate that into the yogurt. Uh, Sarah mentioned in her video that Sarah's from Living Traditions that I'm gonna link below for you. And uh, she mentioned if you incorporate that, it gives you a really nasty texture. So I'm gonna get all of that taken out. And I'm just going to get my thermometer on and we want between 110 and 115 degrees. Okay, now we've got that cooled down to about 113 degrees and we want to introduce our culture which I'm going to go grab out of the refrigerator. Okay, so we want to grab our culture and we want to integrate it but we don't want to just dump this into the entire pot. We want to temper it a little bit. So I've got myself a little bowl and I'm going to add a little bit of this warm mixture to it. Okay. And then we'll take our yogurt and we can start to inoculate the milk with our culture here. Stir that around. Okay, and then I'm going to add this to the rest of our milk here. And I'm going to stir it really, really well. And then once we have this all combined, we just put it back in the Instant Pot, put the lid on it, and we're going to hit the yogurt button to 12 hours so that it can incubate. Okay. Yogurt. That's says 24 hours, so we're going to take it down to 12. And actually, I think I'm going to do 8 and check on it. She said if you want it to be really tart, do the full 12 hours, but anywhere between eight and 12 hours would work. And I don't like super tart yogurt. So I think we're gonna do the eight hours and then I think that will work better. So after my yogurt had incubated for eight hours, it was time to go ahead and get it set up in the strainer. And so what I did is I just kind of loosened it from the Instant Pot by cutting it in a few little pieces and then poured it into my strainer contraption. I had put a bowl upside down in the bottom of the pot to lift my strainer up so that there was more area for the whey to strain out to. And I made sure that my uh, tea towel was very clean and also damp. Uh, Sarah said in her video that if you have your towel damp to start with, then the straining just works that much easier. So that's what I did. And then I just kind of twisted it up 
and um, put a little bit of tension on it and put that into the refrigerator. I let that strain in the refrigerator overnight and then I mixed up my flavors. Now I did leave some plain and I tried a small amount of maple brown sugar and then I made a little bit bigger amount of vanilla and honestly the vanilla ended up being better in my opinion and my husband's opinion than the store-bought vanilla um, Chobani. So I used about a half a teaspoon of vanilla for about two and a half to three cups worth of yogurt. And I used probably a quarter cup of honey. I didn't really measure, but that's about what I used. And I stirred it all in. Now the maple brown sugar, I used about two tea or two tablespoons of brown sugar and two tablespoons of maple syrup for a two cup serving bowl of that yogurt. So I probably will cut back a little. It was a little too sweet. And my husband didn't think so. He thought it was really good. For my liking, it was a little too sweet. So I'd probably cut that back. But overall, we're super impressed with the homemade yogurt and we will definitely be doing this again. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.